Assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, this is going to be a short video today um, regarding hijab because today is World Hijab Day. So I'm just going to wait for some people to join and then we can start inshallah. And just let me know where you are all from in the comments and uh, we can chat as well. You can leave your opinion or even your stories of how you wore hijab in the comments to inspire others, inshallah. So, as I said, today is World Hijab Day, which is an initiative set up just to make the hijab normal because as you know in the west especially a lot of people are um, seeing it as an oppression and see that a piece of cloth can make the woman not uh, I don't know demean her somehow subhanallah so this initiative was set up to show that hijab is actually normal and it doesn't make us do anything less than what not wearing hijab would be. So we are featuring quite a few articles today on hijab and different reflections and different opinions on it. Um, so I thought I will share my journey to hijab or my hijab story um, um, in, a, in a short video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Shayma. How are you doing? You're from Bangladesh, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, Akbar. How are you doing, brother? So let me know what your thoughts are on, on this day as a whole. Is it a good idea in your opinion? Do you think we need a World Hijab Day to normalize hijab? I mean, I get it if you are living um, in um, an, a Muslim country or a Muslim majority country, you might think there's no need for such a day. But if you're living in the West, like I am now and like many of you are, um, how do you think of it? Do you think that it's a good thing? Do you think that it's normalizing hijab in, in non-Muslim societies? Do you think it's empowering hijabi women? We see many inspirational hijabi women. Um, we've just done a video that's gone out a few, um, about an hour ago, uh, such as the first um, Ilian Omar, who's the first congresswoman in um, the US to wear hijab. And um, there are many other women, uh, sports women and so on, who, who are doing their own thing whilst wearing hijab. So it is becoming more normalized. So what do you think about this day? Assalamu alaikum. Jules, how are you doing? Assalamu alaikum, Shamros. We are well. Uh, brother, Layla's at school today. Uh, um, I'm doing this quickly. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, because it's Friday and... Uh, I don't want to keep you old because some of you are probably will be coming up to praying if you're living in the West soon. Salam alaikum, Afdal Ahmed. How are you doing? May Allah bless you also, brother. Salam alaikum, Abdul Aziz Aziz. How are you doing? So as I said, today is World Hijab Day and it's it might not seem significant in um a not uh, in a majority Muslim country, but what do you think about it? As in the West, do you think that it's a good day to um, show that hijab is normal? There is nothing that we cannot, you know, there is nothing we can't do with the hijab. So we can do everything, subhanAllah. And there are some great women role models out there uh, who are in the public eye who are showing just that, subhanAllah. Uh, Salam alaikum, Maria. How are you doing, sister? Salam alaikum, Shamraz. Oh, sorry, I've said it. <laughs> hijab is the actual beauty of a woman. Yes, we are taught, told in the Quran to wear it um, um, to protect as well. Salam alaikum, Yusuf. How are you doing, brother? Salam alaikum, Kausia. Um, Salam alaikum, Shaka. How are you doing? Hijab is beautiful, yes. Salam alaikum. Uh, Jules says anything that spreads positive awareness is a great idea. I agree. Salam alaikum, Craig. How are you doing, brother? Kao say hijab is a shield. Salam alaikum, Stephanie. Yes, I'm in a Western also. Do you wear hijab? How do you feel? Is it is it okay? Do you feel a little bit intimidated at times? <clears throat> uh, since moving here to Canada, I haven't actually felt any discrimination, really. You get the few odd stares. Um, at why you choose to obviously wear something. And I think as a white convert, 
as well. People are intrigued as to why you chose this path. And I'm sure if some of you convert sisters are on there, you're going to have that same feeling. Um, people often give you the more of an odd stare as to why is is you know why are you covering and so on um but i never had any uh, nastiness alhamdulillah um although i know some people who have uh, living in the west um and you today especially in europe it's become a target unfortunately um muslim women in hijab where the islamophobes like to attack the women um so it can be quite scary as well so these days do raise awareness and they do i think they are good um especially for western societies and muslims living in them um salam alaikum elias how are you doing i'm trying to scroll just bear with me um abdul osman salam alaikum Maria, I just done a stall in Birmingham City Centre for World Hijab Day. MashaAllah, how did that go? Um, how did that go, sister? I hope it went well. Uh, Shamraz, by the way, I'm watching you from Belgium and Europe. MashaAllah, how is it there? Because I know uh, women do face difficulty in, in countries, especially in France. Uh, I believe in Belgium also, or is it a little bit easier there? I know Nakab is banned in Belgium. Stephanie, it's a beautiful thing. It is. Hijab is a respect. Yes. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum, Sahil. Hijab is shield. It is. Um, Salamu alaikum, Hadi, Hadji. Um, Craig, it's a good day to help normalize, but sadly I've seen Westerners thinking and saying it's pushing and po politicizing hijab. Some Americans say sisters should take off hijab on this day, which doesn't make sense. I've seen it on Twitter. There is a hashtag free in this year. It's free in hijab because, you know, we want to convey that we are free. Um, but um, there is also another one free from hijab. So, yes, there is a counterpart um people trying to say take it off for the day and see how you feel let your hair breathe and all this but come on we're not living in a hijab we just wear it when outside or when we need to uh cover from um different people but we are definitely <laughs> your hair is free when you are alone i mean when i finish this video i'm alone i'm not going to sit here in hijab all day subhanallah so yeah there is some misconceptions as well um, Kelsey, I wouldn't say Western Muslim ladies are more good than the East. I think you're going to get your good and bad everywhere. Um, but maybe that's your experience. But for me, I see it. I think there's equal measure everywhere, subhanAllah. Uh, oh, that's really sad, Stephanie. I, uh, you get intimidated and don't go outside much. Are you in the US, sister? I think it's difficult these days in the US for any Muslim. Um, um, so I, I, I understand that and um, may Allah make it easy on you, sister, really. Um, Manzor, I like hijab. Me too, Manzor. Uh, Craig, being a white revert is hard in America. So Pan, uh, I've seen some of your comments on the group, but it is very difficult. In, I think it's also difficult in Europe as well. It's getting increasingly harder in certain places because of the far right increasing. And people misunderstanding and people thinking you know um you get attacked from both sides so sometimes you're getting attacked from the muslims because you are they feel that you can't be trusted or you are you know you're how can you be a muslim you're white you know and i've heard this from several converts and it's really sad because you know you would expect our muslim brothers and sisters to embrace us and to help us but unfortunately it's not always the case and of course then you get the issue on the other side where you've got the islamophobes thinking that you are a terrorist and all things like this which is really silly um you know when we choose a faith we obviously do a lot of research into that faith to make sure it fits and to make sure that we feel that this is the right way for us so to be attacked from both sides is very difficult maybe you can handle one side but the other but both sides it's it's often a difficult thing um because you know we do a, we obviously do a lot of research into changing our religion it's not like we just wake up one day and say i decided to become a muslim there has to be a path to that so it can be very challenging for us Alhamdulillah, it went well, Maria. 
Uh, lots of non-Muslims trying headscarves on. MashaAllah. May Allah reward you, sister. I think that's a wonderful idea. SubhanAllah. Tony Bell, glad to be here in solidarity with my Muslim sisters and brothers learning about Islam. Welcome, Brother Tony. Um, we're happy to have you. Um, please feel free to stick on our page and I will give the group our group as well and you can join our group inshallah and we do uh, live videos uh, a couple of times a week so please feel free whenever you see us live to join us um as well i'm really happy because we like it when people just want to learn more i mean we're not pushing this on anyone um, but just to understand more about the religion and to quell the misconceptions that surround it. And obviously that's what today is all about for the hijab. Uh, most women, the vast majority of women in the world wear hijab because they choose to wear hijab. And that is what we need to get that message out there. Of course, there are some who are forced and we can't deny that. But the vast majority of women who who wear hijab have made that choice themselves, and the same with niqab as well. So, um, you know, we are free women, we are able to think for ourselves, we are working in all different fields of professions like teachers, doctors, engineers, sports women, as you saw, um, you know, so many different fields. And so the idea is to make it uh, normal uh, for um, non Muslims. Um, to understand that we are not forced to do this and it's not an oppression it's just everyday life and you know piece of cloth on there it's like you wearing a hat uh, if you think about it um, of course you wouldn't wear a hat in some places of work or whatever but it, it's just that really um, you know just covering the hair and, and the and the chest area uh, make sure that we're wearing modest clothing there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever subhanallah um kausa hijab is haya it's a shield it is it, it, it's it's an act of modesty really um and it does protect us from <clears throat> a lot of a lot of people I, th I don't get it in the West, um, but sometimes but before I used to live in Egypt, and if you weren't wearing hijab, you would get a lot of men looking at you and treating you different. And this is fact. But here, I think, I, I haven't really, I think, it, it, because I'm living in quite an open society, I'm now in Canada, I think people are a lot more open. So they don't really care about how you're looking or what you're wearing as long as, you know, you're not doing anything to harm them. That's what I felt here. I felt a very positive experience in Canada, subhanAllah. Stephanie, it protects us. It does. Um, uh, Jazakallah khair, Stephanie, you are a blessing as well. Nadim, may, may Allah bless you also, brother. Um, Craig is it's very sad um, very true I've been called a fake Muslim um, how can you be a fake Muslim <laughs> subhanallah um, it's really sad when when we get attacked from all sides um, and, and it's very difficult but may Allah keep you on the straight path brother and may Allah keep you steadfast and give you strength and I think you're very strong uh, mashallah um, Nadim is watching from India salam alaikum Nadim um, Ash Afsha, how like salam, brother. Um, uh, Stephanie, my mother is made made it easy by being a Jewish woman and still happy that her daughter has chosen Islam. Masha Allah, Stephanie. Uh, may Allah um, guide your mother also, inshallah. But also may may she be blessed, and she has she is blessed with a daughter like you, and may it be easy for you, and may Allah um, keep you on the straight path as well. So I just want to talk a little bit about my hijab story. Um, alhamdulillah, we had a bit of a conversation there, which is nice. I love these conversation so I converted to Islam almost 14 years ago now and the first year um, I um, didn't wear hijab because you know as a new Muslim you are taking a lot in um, you are learning to pray you are learning um, I think I converted um, right before Ramadan so then I was learning to fast and you know you're just trying to get the basics um of, of, and trying to learn more about what the religion means so hijab at that point wasn't really something in my mind plus i was still in england at the time so i felt a bit shy uh, and so on um then um 
so for that first year i was kind of it was it was for me i was i suppose like dormant so i was i was learning um certain things but i wasn't i wasn't um as active or as um how do you not i wouldn't say enthusiastic but i was taking it very slowly compared to how some some mashallah Allah do but everyone is different then when i i moved to egypt uh to, to, and i married my husband and this the first time i wore it properly um then because i wore it when we got married in the mosque um and and then i took it off for about two or three days uh, and 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 i just subhanallah i just didn't feel right not wearing it so then i started wearing it after that so that's the actual headscarf it took me a whole year to decide to wear it and then i and then i started wearing it now the actual idea of a woman or the clothing on a woman um i'd already started gradually in that first year to wear long sleeves um but i was still wearing you know regular trousers and um because i didn't wear a lot of skirts back then so um i was still wearing that kind of uh, clothing and i probably would say i was still wearing that for at least one to two years after wearing the headscarf so i want to be clear that for those of you who are not sure that hijab really is the whole dress it's not just the headscarf it's how we dress um the hijab is more than what's on the head it's uh, how we dress you know in our clothing um if it is is it modest is it flowing is it not too tight and so on and uh, it's also the behavior as a as a person and men have hijab as well just want to point that out but obviously hijab is usually linked to women by people who don't know a lot about islam so um for about two years i was you know wearing long sleeves but t uh, normal regular trousers but um you know it caused a few friction <laughs> because you know my husband's telling me it's a bit tight and 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 as a new muslim you don't really get it so there's a few arguments going off and then you know step by step started to wear the longer tunics if you like or longer sweat sweaters or longer cardigans to cover the trousers trousers and to cover the arms and so on uh, and then um yeah i think one day i just decided fine i you know it kind of clicked and i decided to start wearing uh, longer skirts switch to skirts wider trousers so you know the wide leg ones which now i love by the way um i find them very chic and maxi dresses but i did go through a period of wearing just abaya but for me i can't just wear abaya because i found it a little bit boring so um i i like to change you know my look every now and again so um i did go through a phase of wearing just abaya and then i just felt i don't I, I just wasn't it just didn't feel like me i mean i do wear abaya from time to time still um but not every day like i was doing so i switched back to the long maxi dresses the long maxi skirts the tunics the long sleeves not too tight so on and um um wider trousers and I, and i think i found now my niche and as well the hijab um it's it's never really been an issue apart from when i go to england which i do have a, an issue with there it's difficult but in general i've never found an issue with that since deciding to put it on and i've had many styles i don't always wear this this is what i usually uh pray in but you know i i use the i have the scarf that i wrap around or i you know find different styles like that so subhanallah it is a journey and it does take time to get to the point where you are comfortable and you're wearing what you like and so on and i have to make it clear just because you are a muslim woman who's deciding to wear hijab doesn't mean that you need to forget your culture or where you are from or where you are living because simply you can adapt your style um to where you are so if you do feel subconscious wearing abaya in the west and not all women do mashallah a lot of women wear them in the west but if you feel subconscious wearing abaya in the west then maybe just you know wear the long dresses 
that aren't tight and wear something over them or the long skirts with something and you will find your you will find a way as long as you are looking modest as long as your clothes aren't tight as long as your clothes aren't see-through transparent or flashy you know like you know what can you can wear any colors but don't be like really flashy so it's like catching an attention um then it's fine the idea is to look modest and not to look you know with you know like your figure and everything else is showing subhanallah so um it is really it is really a a journey for many so i don't agree these are things i don't agree with i don't agree that we should judge a woman who's not wearing hijab because we don't know what's in her heart we don't know her intention and at the end of the day she might be struggling she might be struggling with how it looks she might be trying it in her house and you know it, it takes time it's not and some women mashallah they're strong and they know and they just wear it and they're fine some women they do struggle whether they're born into islam or whether they converted to islam so it can be a, a big struggle you know to to go from one thing to another so we should never judge women who don't wear wear hijab um we should instead be gentle with them and make a dua and uh, talk to them every so often but not in a pushy way because this is not going to make them love it this is going to make them hate it and it's just going to make them not wear it and another big issue i have and i'm sorry brothers is when brothers are so concerned with women and the hijab i understand um it's it's in it's it's in Islam. We are told to wear it, yes, but it's not for strange men to talk to strange women about what they should be wearing. Um, this should be left to people who know the women, who, who can advise them, or sisters. It's not down to brothers to start talking about hijab for women, how they should wear it, and criticize those who don't wear it, criticize those who don't wear it properly. Brothers, you won't have your own hijab that you need to take care of first. And you also must take care of your own Islam first before anything else. Um, a gentle advisory is not a bad thing. But when we see a lot of brothers really criticizing women who aren't wearing it. And, you know, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's not easy, it's depending on where you live as well. So you must, must try and keep that in mind, brothers. It's not always easy for a woman to wear hijab. And as I said, you really do have a hijab yourself to take care of and that should be um, taken care of first and foremost, subhanAllah. Um, I'm from England originally, Asha. Uh, we lived in Egypt for a long time and now we're in Canada. Um, where are you from, Brother Rath? You may have told me and I'm sorry I forgot because I see all these comments. Uh, thank you so much, Jazakallah. Jazana wa yekum, Craig. Snow and cold and racism is everywhere. As we know that life is, itself is a test and discrimination also is a part of these tests. And sometimes we even get a rest places paradise. May Allah grant it to us all. Amin, Amin, brother. I got more to say, but my English is not good enough when it comes to writing, but I can speak well. MashaAllah, brother, I think you've really uh, made the message clear. It is, it's a test. It's a test for us all, and it's a hard test. And at the end, only Allah will judge us depending on that, how how much effort we are putting in and what is our intention in our hearts. Um, so it's really um, nice to see these. And yes, may Allah grant us all paradise. I mean, Allah bless you. You are an inspiration for me. Shazakallah khair, Kamran. I don't think so, but may Allah bless you also. Uh, El Amin, you're watching from Nigeria, mashallah. That's really nice. Uh, how is it there? Are you in winter now um, or are you in summer? Jules, I too waited one year after I converted to put on hijab. Everything was in steps and I wanted to be ready and sure of myself between me and God. It was amazing transition. It is when you really feel like, yes, I've got it. And you really feel happy and comfortable with your style and so on. I really shouldn't wear this hijab. Can you see? It's sliding all over. And I, you know, that's it. <laughs> I'm, I don't like it when it's one-sided. Um, Yes, I'm going back to Jewel, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it is amazing when you finally find something that 
you're happy with and how you look and how you feel and it's it is amazing so um you know it is a process you will go through many different styles or phases or should i wear it like this or should i wear it like that and and so on until you finally get to the point where you're just like ah, i found how i want to be and that's that's panallah uh, may allah bless you also villain edward allah bless you jules askins this is from afsha Oh, that's lovely. Uh, subhanAllah. Um, uh, Jules is one of my friends, by the way. She's very sweet. It is important to find your own style and look. After all, we need to feel confident and strong, and that is not always the same look as the woman in hijab beside you. Exactly. Um, you know, you don't have to copy another Muslim woman. You can just get your own style. And I see so many beautiful styles, and I think, oh, my, my word, mashallah, she looks really great. And I know very well that if I tried her style, I would just not feel comfortable or, I, or I'd just, you know, feel a bit like, because I'm little and <laughs> just some of, you know, some of the really chic styles that you see, and I just think I'd feel like a bit of a dumpling. So. <laughs> Uh, but on other women it looks really wonderful but at the same time um you know we do want to still look good whether we're wearing hijab or not i mean this is a thing for all women i believe it, all people but especially women so it, yes and agree never judge uh, only Allah can judge. We can only give kind suggestions. Exactly, Shamros. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, uh, Brother Mohammed. How are you doing? Uh, Layla's at school. So, yes, I thought I'd come on and do a quick chat about hijab. Um, but Layla is at school at the moment. Uh, otherwise, I could have got her, I suppose, and, and asked her to wear her, her little one, but she's still telling me, when I'm older, I'm going to be a princess, and princess don't wear hijab. So, you know, we have a, we have a few talks in the future to come uh, for Layla. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, Tara. How are you doing? Um, I'm happy to see you as well, brother. Oh, we have some more comments. I'm trying to scroll. So do bear with me. Um Oh yes, I've got, finally got it. This this uh, laptop. I'm I'm still not used to it, and I had it almost a year now. <laughs> hijab is uh, uh, very important for women. It is, um, but it, as I as we said, it's 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 very difficult at, in the beginning to try and get used to it, and it does take time. But yes, it is very important for us. Um, and again, we shouldn't we shouldn't. Uh, judge those who don't wear it hijab is not only in quran also in the bible corinthians 5 11 really i you know i'm not um i'm not really um i wasn't practicing uh protestant i was a protestant before i wasn't practicing i would say i was more agnostic really because i wasn't practicing at all any kind of religion before i became a muslim um so i don't know um a lot about the Bible or what's said in Christianity. So that's really interesting to know. May Allah bless you also, Swaib. And you're from Uganda, but in Dubai, mashallah. Carl Green, alhamdulillah, nice lady. Alhamdulillah for you, brother. Um, Abdul Amogu, mashallah, sister, may Allah protect, may Allah protect you also. Yes, Allah, Allah, Layla, uh, Muhammad, uh, Layla is very good, alhamdulillah. So I just wanted to really come on and speak to you a little about hijab and get your thoughts on what do you think of World Hijab Day. And like I said, you will see a few hijabic posts today because it is World Hijab Day. Um, but please uh, enjoy them. And, um, and you know, I let's make this day something that, especially if you're in the West, that, you know, people can really see that this, this, this absolutely nothing going to stop us just for wearing something over our heads, subhanAllah. So uh, may Allah bless all of our Muslim sisters out there, those who are wearing it, those who are wearing the carb, those who are trying to wear it in struggle, those who are not yet even thinking about it, but, you know, maybe one day they will, inshallah. And um, may Allah bless all of you, and may Allah give you a very blessed um, week inshallah that's all for me uh, i just wanted to pop on and talk about that a little bit so i will see you all very soon assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh